Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back in again for yet another Batman the Re-Animated Series video. So today, as a special Target Holiday Store exclusive, we have the brand new Alfred Pennyworth, the butler of Batman. And the best part is, he comes with all the accessories that the prior original release had. Now, all over the box, which I absolutely love is all the old artwork that's very reminiscent of the TV show, along with the Topps cards, which I collected as a kid myself. Now, here is the barcode for Alfred. He is, as of now, depending on when you see this video, should be out on Target store shelves. His street date was November 26th, and as I was told at Toy Fair, he will be a part of a special holiday end cap. Now, whether when that decides to show up in your particular Target store is all up to Target. But if you wanted to, and this is what I recommend, screen grab this barcode, take a walk around the toy aisle, and if you don't see him, ask an employee with the little black scanner device to scan the barcode and they can tell you whether they have them or not or if that they can go in the back and grab you one. The red kiosks do not work. They really just tell you the price and that's it. You have to find an employee that will then tell you proper stock numbers, right? That's how I do it. That's what I recommend. And that's pretty much the least embarrassing part when going up to another grown human being and asking if they have an Alfred in the back for you. But not just Alfred, right? I recently acquired the Platinum Edition Scarecrow that is a part of the Batman Reanimated Wave 1. I know a lot of people are going to go, why? And I saw the comments, but evidently a lot of you are not Batman Adventures fans. And that's totally cool because that was a comic book during the time of the TV show. Now, this particular Scarecrow is the colors, more or less, of his comic book counterpart from Batman Adventures. It's kind of more of a mashup than anything, right? There's certain parts and pieces that, yes, he had one look in issues four and five, yes, he had another look in issues 18, and so on and so forth, through on to Batman and Robin Adventures. But, yes, I think he looks awesome, and I'm very happy to have it. So if you're interested, yes, here's the barcode as well. It's the same exact box and barcode as the normal edition Scarecrow. It's just a rare chase figure, basically. But regardless, very happy to have him for my collection, and we will look at him later on in this Alfred video. And speaking of which, well, let's get back to him. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Holiday Target Store exclusive, straight from Batman, the reanimated series, Alfred Pennyworth by McFarlane Toys. And right after you press my tights and put away my exploding gas balls, I want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And of course, here is Alfred all out of the packaging. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that he does not come with the DC collector card stand. I'm just going to start utilizing these to show off the collector card, right? That's pretty much what it's there for. So you have the DC stand, you have the card, everything looks good, I love the artwork, you turn it around. And I like the front, displays nice, but on the back, and with all the other DC Multiverse cards, you can't read anything because of those two giant slats. So you always have to move it around, it's kind of a pain. And at those $30 price points for when you stick in these card stands in, Come on, right? Now, for those of you not aware, the original DC Direct DC Collectibles line of Batman animated series figures, when it came to Alfred, the only way to get him is if you bought the Batcave playset. So a lot of people miss this, but I'm happy to say that all the original accessories do come with this Alfred as well, like his feather duster, right? Now, I gotta tell you, if I didn't tell you this was a feather duster, would you know what it is? It's not painted well. It's pieced together with two halves and it has a big seam mark on it. Also, as I'll show you in just a few, he does come with extra hands. Although, with the exception of one accessory, doesn't really hold the accessories well, if at all. And speaking of which, this is the one that he can hold pretty well, which is the giant serving platter, right? It's got two handles, which... The two open hands works. This is painted fine for the most part. It looks good. And you can get the teapot, which is also painted nicely, right? It looks pretty good. And then you get a plate, which is just all white. And you get the cup and you get the idea. 
This is the epitome of Alfred. You can serve tea to Bruce Wayne all day in the Batcave, and that's what I expect from Alfred. His other two accessories are also painted in the exact same way. It has that white paint to it. Now, one of them is a bit of a sugar bowl, and the other one looks like a candy dish. Ned, $90. Anyways, he does come with two fists, so Alfred could beat up the villains, and he has two open hands, which again, don't really help in holding much of the accessories, just FYI. Now, Alfred himself, which that's really it for me. It's just Alfred, and you're like, cool, I'll put him on my shelf with my Batman figures and be happy. The one caveat to this, if I'm being 100% honest, is that the original DC Direct, DC Collectibles figures were very much art pieces. They had nice paint to it. This is utilizing different plastic and less paint to make a more plasticky version of these Batman reanimated figures. The paint is so-so. It's going to have the original articulation, so it's not going to have much in the way of the head. It doesn't have a separate ball joint. It's just the neck that moves. The arms will go straight up. Nothing at the bicep, although he will kind of swivel out the arms. Not so much on that side, but on the other side works a lot better. I'm going to go real easy. Yeah, you don't want to snap anything, break anything. Always go real easy with these figures. It seems to be the molds, right? They're reusing old molds. Does it work? Kind of, sort of. You got single jointed elbows, swivels at the elbow. You have the swivel at the wrist and it moves around. You get a little bit of a butler waist, right? And then his legs will kick up. He's got that single jointed knee and he has uh, basically just foot swivel with one peg hole on one of the feet. So, Overall, it's simple enough articulation, but enough for the character that is Alfred. And in terms of displaying Alfred, yeah, this is pretty much what I would utilize Alfred for. I don't really need anything else in terms of articulation. If he can hold the serving tray, yeah, that's an A-OK -okay Alfred to me. Now, in scaling him with prior released Batman animated figures. Now, whether you want to go original BTS or TNBA, yeah, Alfred will square nicely with those. Especially TNBA, which he had less of a design alteration. It's basically simplified, right? But you can utilize some of the accessories with some of the other figures, but they don't really work all too well. The hands are very teeny tiny, and... Believe it or not, you will leave some paint scuffage on some of these accessories because of the color that they are. But you can put a batarang and a bat grapnel on the tray and have Alfred serve an old Bruce Wayne. And now, just to really quick talk about the Platinum Edition Scarecrow. You get the same exact accessories. And then, yes, to utilize the Batman Adventures comic book, we then have this color scheme. And if you've never read Batman Adventures, it was great. It semi-tied in with the show until later when it got into the Batman and Robin adventures and then the after years and then subsequently TNBA. This was the pinnacle, I think, of the comic books matching up with Batman animated. And the Scarecrow design was a lot of fun, right? He looks awesome. So this was one of the color schemes that was in the comic between all the issues. But yeah, like I said, it's more of a mashup of all of them. And then just to show you how the color differences from the original normal release, if you can call that, for Jonathan Crane, yes, he is more of that yellow light, which I think works as a different color scheme, especially then again, establishing at Batman Adventures. I like the two looks of these things, and I hope to see more Batman Adventures colors in the future. So that's going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Target Holiday Store exclusive, Alfred Pennyworth. And I'll tell you right now, this is vastly different from the original DC Direct DC Collectibles line. The original line was more of an art piece display, whereas these are now becoming very plasticky, unfortunately. And Alfred does have some minor grievances, especially in the plastic and the way he holds the accessories. Not everything really works. The articulation is there. But yes, this is very much, if you missed Alfred originally, this will help in maintaining your Batman Adventures collection. And with the Platinum Scarecrow, that's not going to be for everyone. But dang it all, I love him. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Alfred Pennyworth. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, who would you like to see for the upcoming waves in terms of the Build-A-Figure? And when you do... 
Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.